I'm Shabnam Hashmi. I'm a social activist from India and work with an organization called Anhad. And we work on questions of democracy and secularism and also do a bit of uh, community work. Well, uh, I come from a very um, progressive background and as a child I was uh, motivated to work for social causes. And I think what influenced me the most was the diary of Annie Frank and uh, another book called The Story of Zoya, which influenced me a lot and I decided that this is what I'll be doing in my life. Well, Christian Aid supports uh, a lot of our work, which includes working with the communities and uh, doing this uh, disaster risk reduction, also some of our advocacy work. I think a very interesting uh, incident which comes to my mind, which I was relating um, just a few seconds ago, that there is a, there is a village called Sarai in Haryana, which um, is very conservative. It's a Muslim dominated village and the literacy rate for uh, girls is less than 15 percent. And they are not allowed to sing, they are not allowed to dance, nothing. All that is just no, no, because it is not allowed in Islam. Uh, after six months of vocational training, we had a free day with girls and we um, asked them to just, you know, we were just chatting. And suddenly uh, the whole, uh, you know, room turned into a kind of a poetry session where uh, one girl will get up, she will recite four lines and then another will get up and she would reply to that. And they were constantly making new verses. They were making, um, uh, I mean, all of us were part of those verses. The whole work was part of that verses. I was really taken aback and it was so creative. Uh, I wanted um, to document that. I wanted to video record that. But I was told that if we do that and if uh, the community comes to know about it, then it will be a lot of problems for those girls. But one day I hope that we would be able to convince them to record that poetry session. I think the, the stories of people with whom I work and uh, the condition of people that we constantly come across, whether we are working for communal violence victims, whether we are working for people who are extremely poor, living below the poverty lines. Uh, when you are raising a voice on any of the issues, you know that you are raising this voice for those people who are invisible, whose voices are not heard otherwise. So uh, that gives me a lot of strength and I think that gives strength to all the human rights activists.